talk about uh, the tail two halves, so where that, that second half gets away from you guys, you aren't able to get off the field. Just what was it there in the second half you noticed, or they were able to score each time they touched the ball? Uh, it was communication, really, uh, between the back end and linebackers all the way up front. Um, we just didn't communicate effectively, and uh, our tackling wasn't where it was supposed to be in the second half. We talk about communication. There's some new faces, especially on the back end. Is, is that something you just need to, that you notice needs to start growing? That's something you guys. No, yeah, uh, we have some young players back there, uh, which is great. It's fine. It's good. Um, but yeah, we just got to get uh, them to get the playbook and just kind of know what's going on more. And that's uh, from bottom bottom to top. You know, it's everyone. It's not just the back end. It's linebackers, D line, safeties, corners. It's all around. I can see in your eyes it hurts. Uh, a loss like this hurts you. Yeah. Um, just what it, what's kind of going through your mind right now? Um, yeah, it's never fun, especially because we played them really hard in the first half, and you know we thought we were going to come out in the second half and be a second half football team like we like to say we are. Um, yeah, it, it hurts, but we'll get back next week and uh, fix the, make the adjustments and get back on the road. What's it take to be that second half team? It's something we've been talking about all week. Uh, Got to be able to tackle better, communication, um, conditioning, uh, everything. Jacob, just kind of getting your getting the start and being not taken off the field. Just what was working for you out there most of the game to where you, you did put the offense in some good spots and some points. Yeah, um, I mean, I think we could have done a lot better in the first half. Honestly, there was a lot of uh, execution errors on first down, which set us back. Some pre-snap penalties, which were my fault. Um, but we did some good things. I'm really proud of the guys up front and they played really hard and they were they were ready to play um, and they gave me time to, to sit back there and throw the ball. What did you notice from the guys up front? Because you were able to step yeah. up there a few times. It was rough, mm -hmm. maybe that first drive or two, but it seemed to really come Yeah, they're, they're just playing really hard and they love each other. Um, they love playing football. We got guys rotating in and out so they can stay fresh. Um, and we just have, we have a lot of good football players up front this year. All right, just being able to make some plays there, and, uh, you score the touchdowns there. Just what was working for you and what you noticed in the offense tonight that you can build off of? Uh, just execution, pretty much. Uh, just coming out and they were running the plays that Coach Nick grew up, caught up for us, coming out there just executing. You're getting a lot of your first opportunities right now, just kind of being the main guy of that offense, just um, being able to step up and be able to do a couple of good things on a big stage tonight. Just what do, you, what do you think that does for you and some of those other guys going forward? Uh, it definitely opened a lot of things up. But at the end of the day, as a team sport, we only score 17 points to what? They're 41 or 48. So we got to come out here and execute a little bit more better. Jacob, when you know it's a two quarterback, coach is saying two quarterbacks going into the night, you're able to just kind of claim that throughout the night. Just what was kind of working for you to where you had that confidence and you were just making it yours and not letting Coach question put somebody else in it. Yeah, honestly, that's not something I even thought about. Um, I thought about going out there and just executing in one play at a time and trying to be the best leader for the offense that I could be. And the two picks late, just um, is it trying to make something happen kind of late in the game that's it's, getting away from you? Or? It's just two critical errors that can't happen. I mean, the score is 48 to 17, but I put the defense in a really bad position. They gave them 14 points. It's just two critical areas that can't happen and won't happen again. So what do you want to see from the offense this week? The defense guys talk about wanting to build on that communication. What do you want to see from the offense? Yeah, I just want to see um, a lot of focus and a lot of intent on every play in practice, um, continuing to master the offense, master assignment. Um, and we're, we're going to be a really good offense if we can do that throughout practice.